Warning, after watching this video, you may will want to uninstall the virtual desktop from your Pico 4 headset because of this. So let's start with the latest Vampire the Masquerade Justice game that just came out on the Steam and I'm running it using the virtual desktop on ultra settings and maximum bitrate and everything else and it may look normal maybe just a little too dark but many people complain that Pico 4 screens are too dark or is it just the virtual desktop because I'm running the same game on the Pico Connect here and suddenly it's only the virtual desktop side that has shadows crushed to a pitch black look at this completely pitch black character here where I can see the light spilling on his face from the back using the Pico Connect. And the difference is even higher in the headset than this recording shows. Sire gave me the nickname. At first just to mock me, then to keep me on the path, as he used to say. Eventually I embraced it. And sometimes it is so dark, I cannot even see the art to walk using the virtual desktop which is kind of a big problem, especially after realizing that the game renders properly using the Pico Connect. But it's not like the virtual desktop is just too dark. Look at these completely back pillars here. Shadows are crushed to a complete black. But look at the candles now. The highlights are crushed to a complete white in the same image using the virtual desktop. Which basically means that you are just seeing less, less dynamic range, less shades of colors using the virtual desktop. Here you can see the virtual desktop is actually too bright, crushing highlights on the hands and books and washing all colors out. The Toy Trains game looks the worst on the virtual desktop with that dead grass and the completely washed out colors. Again the lit table is way too bright but the room in the shadows is way too dark at the same time. And this is how I have noticed the difference. I have been playing Toy Trains on a Pico Connect Beta and after that I have switched back to Virtual Desktop and hey, the game looks nothing like it looked on the Pico Connect. So the Virtual Desktop clearly renders games totally wrong on the Pico 4. And yeah, there is nothing you can do about that. I have went on a virtual desktop discord and they cannot do anything about this because virtual desktop simply does not have an access to change all the screen settings. If you have seen my last Pico video, I have showed how even standalone games got this huge visual upgrade from sharpness to resolution and how they render colors better now. Because Pico has updated the latest plugins for Unity and Unreal Engine. But since Virtual Desktop runs on OpenXR, yeah, that one did not get the update. So Virtual Desktop, the number one app sold on the Pico 4, cannot use any of these new Pico upscaling and color improvements. Which is why maybe I should update my Virtual Desktop rating now as I have not been using the thing since I have tried the Pico Connect Beta, which, as I have mentioned in my previous videos, has been like a free upgrade to a whole new headset. I can switch between warm and cool colors now, use AI upscaling in games, use adaptive brightness and all other cool new features like full body tracking, using Pico Motion Trackers and face tracking with a Pico Pro headset. 
lastly I can show you the Resident Evil 4 mod which still looks leaps better over the Quest 3 and all issues I had with the Oculus Link are sometimes the difference between the virtual desktop and Pico Connect is really minimal it really depends on the game especially if you compare how oversaturated colors are even in a horror games on the quest so yeah the virtual desktop is not super terrible but if you have pico connect beta already i would say it is clearly the ultimate way to play pc games on the pico 4 right now or to have the best PC experience overall on a standalone headset. Someone that could help me. But Kaiser said he did have an agenda of his own. 